Nick, good morning. What's going on, guys? Uh, happy Football Friday. Happy yes. that Sanity currently reigns here with the Patriots, and the Patriots' best quarterback will be starting on Sunday against the Jets. That, of course, is Mac Jones, not Bailey Zappi. Now, uh, now speaking of Twitter, uh, were you upset with something that Curtis did? I'd like him to apologize if you were. Ah, uh, what, when he tweeted that he was right about the Chiefs last yes, week? No, yes, he yes. was right. That's okay. no, all, all good. Right. Okay, all right. Let's I go back like... to that pick. I would really like to revisit why I thought that was the correct pick, because I think Mahomes is really good. Yeah, I mean, listen, he was right, and Mahomes can't lose, like, back-to-back games. Listen, listen, when you do this for a living, like, sometimes you're going to be wrong. Curtis was right, and that's it. So you take an L. Curtis is on a hot streak yep. right now. 800 one and one <laughs> You nailed it. All right. Um, so. I- I'm down to go head-to-head with him again, literally again. Any any game that he wants to pick, I will blindly take the other side. <laughs> There's no games that I really that jump out to me this week. I'll Maybe I'll get back to it next You week. just pick a random game, and I'll take the other side. <laughs> I-, I, can I am clearly... confident in your abilities as a mush. Oh, God. Things are heated. I have an incredible skill. I get people to lose their minds. It's very easy. <laughs> but you were right last week, so I give you credit, Thank man. You. I, was, yep. I was wrong, and I lost money on it, so there you go. Go. Yeah, I like Mahomes. I thought he's good. You know, pretty good guy to root for. He's better than Jimmy Garoppolo. You are definitely right. That's what it boils down to, right, when you bet a game. Which quarterback is better? Well, it's 90% of the NFL there. Curtis, (laughs) Curtis, stay true to your guns. The lock of the week, if you want to go against Nick, take the 49ers. Okay. See, but I feel like this is now like, Wiggy, this is your lock of the week. Because last week, you gave him the Chiefs also. So it's not actually Curtis's lock lock of the week. This is me head-to-head with you. I like the Niners also, though. I don't know. I I think Mahomes is going to stick in this league. I like him. Well, he's on a bye week this week, so he's a huge favorite against the bye. <laughs> He'll cover. Uh, or take the uh, Giants, Curtis. I love them, too. Oh, my lord. I love you, Costos. I want you in studio. Yeah, this you're okay. <laughs> uh, you, you and Shime, I want you and Shime head-to-head here. Um, where do you want to start, Shime? Uh, we can go ahead and start with uh, this uh, Patriots game, if you want. Nick, go ahead. What are your uh, thoughts right now on Patriots-Jets? Uh, if the number is going to be three, I like the Jets. Um, I do think that the Patriots are starting the right quarterback here in Mac Jones, and I think the Patriots are more likely to win the game. I think New England should be a small favorite in the game, but now that we're hitting three, like I can't get there. And just like locally here in New York, I mean, Jets fans are in a froth right now. It's the biggest game for the Jets, and like, I mean, aside from like the AFC Championship games that they played in the playoff game against the Patriots in 2011, it's the biggest game the Jets have had in like a decade, like 15 years in the regular season, 20 years of getting their asses kicked by Bill Belichick. So it's a huge game here locally. I think the Patriots are better than them, though, and the Patriots should be favored, but I do think that the best unit on the field and curious if you guys agree patriots offense defense yes i know unit very funny patriots offense defense jets offense defense is the jets defense i'll keep saying unit if you want the jets defense is the best unit on the field now jets offense might be the worst but i don't know how much they're gonna have to score in this game because the defense is nasty and sauce gardner might be the best cover corner in football right now and jack jones is awesome too as a rookie but sauce gardner's better so if the number is going to be three i will take jets plus three on sunday yeah it's, it's hard to go against you here nick i i am feeling very Similarly, I think the Patriots win, oh. but getting the three points is too too juicy. I'm going hard Jets. against Costos here. Here's why. There we go. Go back to 2008. Week one, the Patriots beat the Chiefs. Tom Brady goes down. Yes, to the Bernard injury. Pollard game, of course. The next week, I remember vividly Sal Pal from the parking lots of the Meadowlands as Matt Castle and the Patriots were about to take on the 1-0 Jets. And they were frothing at the mouth. Finally, Brady's gone. We get this tight end from USC going against us. And the Pats, oh, and that's Favre, right? Favre starting for the Jets in the that game. The Pats won that game easily. The Pats will do that again this Sunday. Oh, because I mean, listen, whenever you get the chance to talk about a random game from week eight, uh, from, from 2008 in week two to make a pick in 2022, that's a great handicapping strategy. Yep. <laughs> I'm telling you this right now. Yeah, because now. something happened in, in yeah. week yeah. two of 2008 means it's going to happen in week eight in 2022. I, I have two rules I live by. One, I think Patrick Mahomes is good. You should probably bet on his team. And the second one is that when Belichick goes into the Jets and the Jets think they're good, They'll always lose. But fumble right. night, you name it when. It's too big of a game for them. Bill hates them more than he hates anything. The Patriots win by over a touchdown Sunday at the Meadowlands. Uh, uh, Nick, what, what, what would be your other favorite pick on the board this week? Uh, numbers currently available. Let's see what we got here. Uh, I like San Francisco a lot. How about this? Uh, I'll give you one for the... One of the biggest games of the week. I'll take the Packers plus 11 and a half on Sunday night on the road. Oh, I will go head to head with you on this. Wow. Give okay. me the Bills. I will lay. I would lay 15 points. The Bills no, you point, But I'll take the 11. I'll no, take the 11. Want. You want this under 13 if you want to bet Buffalo. Yeah, I'll take Green Bay. Um, 
listen, this is like catching a falling knife here with Green Bay. This is the bottom for Green Bay. And we bet against them every week, so it's not like I've been betting on the Packers here. I bet against them. I just think now is a good spot to take them, and it's scary. Buffalo's the best team in football, coming off a bye, playing at home, people jumping through tables pregame. It's going to be an awesome scene in Western New York. But I think it's too many points. You know, Aaron Rodgers is telling anyone with ears that will listen, right, that they got to bench some of these players and get other guys in there that aren't going to make mistakes. So I think the more players on offense that are ruled out for the Packers in terms of the skill position players, good. Get other guys in there that aren't going to drop the football and run the wrong routes. I'll take the Packers plus 11 and a half. By the way, Nick, in, in Buffalo, their units get tossed onto the field. Mm. No, deep. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes and sometimes you get a frozen unit because it's cold there, <laughs> which yeah. you want to avoid. Uh-huh. You want to avoid the frozen unit. I'm not, I'm not a professional handicapper, but I don't know how people jumping through tables has anything to do with the game, but call me crazy. I think the- well, I mean, well, actually, but you're wrong about that because the last time, eight years ago, when the Bills played the Packers in Buffalo, four Four Bills fans jumped through tables. The temperature was in between 31 and 37 degrees, and the Bills covered. Ergo, the Bills will cover now on Sunday night because of that. Yeah. Okay. I'm much better at that. Nick, right. I think the frozen units are pretty big. That's why they make the glass ones now, so you can either put them in the freezer or <laughs> you can put them in the microwave. <laughs> and you know, it's funny, it's what? funny, Wiggy, that you say that, because just last night I was going through like my favorite, my unit power rankings, mm-hmm. and the frozen unit was actually number one on the list. I thought, I, what about Antonio Brown? <laughs> what about him? That's just a big unit. <laughs> yes. That's just, just a, lo- it's a loaded question, man. Yeah. Okay. Oh, a loaded unit. Yeah, All right. right. Get it. You can get the mold of his at uh, any... What do they call okay. it? Amazing okay. Source? okay, thank you. Um, Nick. Out of all the molds that you could possibly buy, Antonio Brown would be last on my list. For me personally. <laughs> That's just me, though. I mean, you do what you want. I mean, it's 2022. Live your life. So who would be number one on your list? Oh, I mean, I don't know if I could really say that on a family-friendly show. You want to do like an uncensored podcast? I can give you a good answer. uh, The guy's getting married. I mean, he's, uh, Mm -hmm. you know, he's got to get the... Yeah, but I'm still a red-blooded American heterosexual male, you know. (laughs) All right, Nick. Great picks as always. I don't uh, think you mean that, Greg. I do. I do. I'm telling you, uh, we love having you, and... um, uh, don't uh, don't sweat the bets. Uh, how does that go? How does the thing go at the end of this? Come on, you know what it is. A little lot of bets. No, no this sweats. is like this is like the bets, Breaking no Bad scene when he goes, "Come on, you know who I am." It's Heisenberg. <laughs> Minimal sweats, winning bets. The absolute very best of luck. Say my name, baby. Uh, <laughs> all right, Nick. We'll talk to you next week. And, all right. Uh, Later. That Ooh. was the host of You Better You Bet, Odyssey Sports Betting Insider, Nick Costos. Insider calls.